Well, it's been too cold to do much kite flying this winter, but I've been working on a new kite aerial photography rig. So that's what you see here. I have this open in FreeCAD, which is a free open source CAD program that I use. Um, so if you don't know anything about kite aerial photography, then you're going to find out. Um, but this is a kite aerial, aerial photography rig. It is designed to carry a camera up in the air, hang from a kite string, and take pictures. This rig is designed for radio control. So it has three servos for pan, tilt, and shutter control. It also has a second camera. So this is the main camera that takes the pictures. It's a Sony RX0, which is a really good kite aerial, aerial photography camera. Um, the second one is an FPV camera, which stands for first person view. Um, you see these cameras a lot on drones. And the purpose of this one is to give me a live video downlink. So I have that on there. Um, this over here is the antenna to send the video down, and this is a transmitter. This is the RC receiver to control the servos. Um, and then some other features of this rig are, um, one, you might notice that this bottom section of the frame is square. And the reason for that is so that I can unscrew it from the servo and undo this bolt and then rotate the whole thing 90 degrees to be in a portrait orientation instead of landscape. So in case I want to do that, I'll have that option. Um, and then finally, I wanted the whole thing to come out under 400 grams. So that's the goal. Um, so if you're interested in this, then stick around and I'll show you how I built it. And then you'll get a demonstration of it in the air um, and also on the ground. So enjoy. Now that I've got this thing built, let me give you a quick overview of how it works and what's on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch this on. There we go. And so when I turn it on, the servo is kind of rotating it. But if I switch on my transmitter, so this is how I control it, then it kind of steadies itself out and uh, let me show you what's on it. All right, so first off, we've got the main camera right here. That's the one that takes the pictures. We've also got a 
an FPV camera that I use for the video downlink. And actually, let me take off the little lens cap. There we go. Lens cap is off. And we got the shutter servo. We've got a little two cell lithium battery. Um, the receiver. Um, let's see, that's the pitch servo or tilt. Um, this is the video transmitter for the video downlink from the FPV camera. This is the antenna. Um, this is a handy little remote relay um, that I can use to switch the video feed on and off from my transmitter. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, this thing actually gets kind of hot and it can, it'll be okay with the wind, but it also draws a decent amount of current. Um, so if I couldn't switch it off and I just had it running all the time, I would use up this battery pretty quickly. Um, we got the pan servo on the top. Um, and I think that's about it. Got some switches. Um, yeah, so let's give it a little try. So I've been rotating it around. So I just have that on my rudder servo to do the panning. The tilt I have on the throttle axis. Um, and then to turn on the video, actually, let me start recording. And there we go. And all right, so let's, uh, here, let me flip this switch and then you'll see this thing kind of lights up. So I have this on the gear switch. So just turn it on and then the video comes on and you should see that now. And so I can rotate it around and it'll turn, can tilt. And then to take a picture, I have that on the elevator axis. So you can hear that and I'll let you see it. Um, actually, the trickiest part about this whole build was getting this uh, shutter servo just right. Um, I had to file down the arm to get it just the right length and then adjust the throws so that it wouldn't bind um, and that it wouldn't push harder than it needed to to take a picture. Um, yep, that's about it. Let's just wait for a decent day and we'll give it a try. I'm here at a local college. It's a nice sunny day, um, not too cold, still kind of cold. Um, and actually there's a decent amount of wind, which is good because the forecast looked questionable. Um, but the thing I like about this college is that it's got a nice wide open field where I can fly my kite. So I think this will be a perfect place to test out the new rig. Um, so I'm gonna go try to get the kite in the air and then we'll give it a try. All right, I've got the kite up on about 150 feet of line or so. Uh, it's flying by itself right now. Let me zoom in. The wind is a little bit gusty, but not too bad. And it seems like it's staying up with no problems. I've got it attached to this little dog stake here. Um, and I have the rig just about ready to go. All right, the rig is attached. I got it on, and as soon as I did, the kite decided to go fly in a thermal, so the rig went straight up, and then when it got out of the thermal, it came right back down again, but it looks like it's all set now, and you might notice that it's rotating slowly. That's because I haven't turned on the transmitter yet, but I'll do that in just a minute, and then get it up higher in the air. All right, so we finally got it up in the air. I had a little mishap um, because I mentioned the thermals and it turned out they just kept coming. And I apparently found the, the best place for thermals around here. Um, so it got up in a couple big ones and uh, then at one point it became really slack and the thing came down and actually the rig took a couple of tumbles on the grass um, so I decided to adjust the bridle a little bit to try to help not get uh, lifted up in thermals quite as much and that seems to have worked. And now it's back up in the air and I think we're ready to give this thing a try. So I'm gonna, uh, first thing I'll do is flip on this screen here. 
And there we go. I'm gonna turn on transmitter two. And let's see, right now there's no picture. Actually, I'm gonna start recording the video downlink as well. Okay, so that is recording. And let me flip it on so you can see. Um, also keeping an eye on the kite, make sure it's flying okay. All right, so we have a picture from the onboard camera. Um, and I'm just gonna look around a bit um, using the joystick here. So we have over here, here's the school and it's pretty nice looking. There's a lot of construction going on, but we've got the scenic little bay in the background. And so I think I'm gonna try to try to just get like this baseball field and some of these round buildings in the picture and just take some shots. I'll hold it down for a little bit. Um, I have the main camera in continuous shooting mode, so when I hold it down, it should take a few pictures. Yeah, let's give it another try. All right, should have taken a few. So those look pretty good and let's just, we can zoom around, look around. Um, there's a road over here. There's a field. Here's me. Let's take a, a cap selfie. We always need to do one of those. All right. And yeah, there's just some fields. So it looks like it's working. I'm gonna shut it off. I might try flying a little higher and give it another try later, um, but we'll see. All right, I've got it up a bit higher now, so we're gonna give it one more try. Uh, let's see how it looks from a bit higher. I've actually got most of the line out now. So if I zoom out, that's what it looks like. Um, and when I do this, I'm having the string attached or tied off on this stake. Uh, normally I could operate the remote and hold the line in my hand, but since I'm also trying to take video, it's a little too much. Um, and I don't have quite that many hands. So let's do this one more time and show you what I'm looking at. And there we go. So yep, definitely a bit higher now. Uh, there's all the construction there. And got a higher view of this area. Now keep in mind this, uh, this video downlink, um, it's not supposed to be a high quality. The whole purpose of it is just so that I can see what the main camera is taking a picture of. Uh, so I don't really care if it's stabilized or high resolution or anything. Um, that looks kind of cool over there with the sun reflecting off the water. I think I'm gonna try to take one like that. Uh, there we go. Take a few shots. Maybe, uh, yeah, let's rotate it around this way a little more. That looks good too, if I can try to keep the construction out of the view. It's a little bit angled here. There we go, that looks better. Um, okay, so this seems like it's working. So I think I'm gonna turn it off and start bringing it in, not push my luck too much. So I got the kite back down almost all the way. The wind did pick up some more, so it was kind of hard work. Um, but now I'm just gonna go bring this down and turn everything off. Um, yeah, so when it took a little tumble, you can probably see the little, the antenna for the VTX, the post that's supposed to hold it in place kind of snapped off. Um, so I'll have to, fix that but that should be no problem um, everything else is fine still all right so got this down so i'm just gonna flip off the switch all right so i'm just gonna take it off and then bring the kite down so this has been a pretty successful outing so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it